Here we are outside Surrey Canoe Club. As you can see, this is what we're up to today. This is the Enforden, and uh, what's the special event today? Special event is Green Paddle today. Uh, so we're working with uh, Spellthorne Council and Suez, um, who are a recycling reusal um, company. Um, to clean as much of this stretch of the River Thames as we can between Chertsey Bridge, uh, Chertsey Weir, sorry, and uh, Penton Hook if we get that far. And we've got two, two parties in essence, there's Bankside, people walking up and down the bank, uh, and then we've got people in kayaks and canoes on the water, um, finding some interesting stuff. <laughs> yeah, I've been in charge of the water uh, group, yes. and we found an awful lot of fishing line, which takes some untangling. Um, two car tyres, a traffic cone, loads of plastic bags, large and small, and, and three quarters of a garden plastic chair. So there's so much stuff out there. So yeah, I think certainly the group I'm with appreciate what, what we're doing. The plastic chair, was that in the water or on the oh, bank? No, it's all, we've, all the stuff we get is, is from the water. So how do you lift out a, a chair out of the water? You're just in a canoe or some sort of area? Yeah, we've got um, some individual kayaks and we've got a canoe for collecting lots of rubbish. We've also got a double kayak, which is very stable and got lots of space. So, so we can sort of hang on to that step. and lift, lift things. And we use the, the two big boats, the kayak, the double kayak and the canoe for ferrying stuff backwards and forwards. And Councillor and Mary and Adams. Adams. Mayor of Spelthorne. Mayor of Spelthorne, thank you very much. With stickers saying I've met the Mayor of Selfridge. Well I was invited by the uh, Surrey Canoe Club to come down here. Uh, as a councillor this is also in my ward and um, I totally admire and support all the great work they do here, especially cleaning up the river, seeing the damage that plastics are doing and all these things that just do not biodegrade at all and they're just left there to clog up the banks and damage the wildlife and the, the fish, the swans. Um, here's some awful stories about the damage that's done to the wildlife on the river. Uh, we went today and it, we found so much rubbish and I thought we wouldn't find as much rubbish, but we did. And it's kind of bad because people take it for granted and litter everywhere, which is really quite bad for the environment. And I think us doing this voluntarily is really good. Life is hurting the environment in general. It's, uh, it's it, again, with what Jose said about the future generations, it's, it's, hurting, it's hurting the environment for people later on. I'm proud of what we did as a group and we collected a lot of litter which like inspired me in some way to like do this more often. This is Ellie. Hey. And uh, what sort of tools do you need for doing a job like this? Um, so well you would need gloves and a litter picker because if you, you never know what you're going to find in there you can find some really really disgusting stuff and obviously you don't want to touch that with your hands and so also these are useful for that as well for like reaching quite far down into the water because there's all kind of stuff down there. Well, I think they found something already. Well, I never. Commitment. Now, get back in. All right. <laughs> so it's vodka, is it? It was. Yeah. Loads of stuff. Oh my god. God, oh dear. Well, I suppose you might expect to find a ball. <laughs> Tricky to pull out, I think. Yeah. You'd have to, like, have to get on the shore for dinner. Oh, well. Good luck. Well done, yes. A lighter as well. Yeah. Be safer in the bigger boat. Well, that's a very good uh, afternoon's work. Yeah, yeah. See you again sometime.